Hello guys, welcome to the 24th session of using Microsoft Board Framework, Lewis and Cognitive Services Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will learn to create our first Lewis app and learn about intents and create it. Now what is intent? An intent represents actions the user wants to perform. Using intents, Lewis determines and understands what a user wants to do. In Lewis, intents are used to identify groups of questions or commands that have the same intentions. The intent is a purpose or a goal expressed in user's input, such as booking a flight, paying a bill, or finding a news article. For example, if you are creating a board for online food ordering, then list food, order food, make payment will be intent for this board. Let us switch to the browser. First of all, after login, we need to click on my app button. Click on create new. Give a name for app. Louis supports various languages. Here I am going with English. And add some optional description about this app. And click on done button. By default, it will create one intent named none. Click on create new intent. And give a name for this. Throughout this section, I am going to create a board for news reading. For this, I will use newsapi.org. Here I am going to create intent named headlines. Here, our intent is created. From here, we can rename intent as well as delete it. Here, in this text box, we need to add some terms that user may say. It is referred as utterances. Utterances are input from the user that your app needs to interpret. Louis first uses example utterances that you add within an intent to teach itself how to evaluate the variety of utterances that users will input. Here in our news board, the user may say show me headlines or show me top stories or show me trading news. Those all terms are added in utterances table. By clicking on more option, we can edit this utterance or delete it. From this drop down, we can move utterance from one intent to another. Using this checkbox, we can perform bulk operations. We can also disable fuzzy search for this intent, but it would be great to remain it on. In simple terms, fuzzy search allows executing this intent even after some spelling mistakes occur. Again click on intent. Here you can see that headlines added here. And it contains three utterances. Let us see what we have learned in this session. Intent used to represent actions the user wants to perform. It used to identify groups of questions or commands that have the same intentions. Utterances are input from the user that your app needs to interpret. We can add multiple utterances within our intent. Here is headline intent that we have created. Within intent, we have added three utterances. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.